So Larry Nichols joins us. Uh, Larry Nichols, God bless you, my friend. Uh, obviously, I want to cover free speech in a few minutes before a break. I want to come back, give you the floor, get into the fact that you're the main source for these big news articles exposing the deaths, Vince Foster, the murders, the Arkansas, the rapes, the cover-ups, uh, and Trump's taking the gloves off. So that's exciting. But thank you for joining us. You bet. Well, thanks for having me, Alex. This, uh, sorry about that. The, the, everything you just said is exactly true. And what's really incredible, Alex, you know, typically you and I talk about these things. Excuse me for this thing. Yeah, uh, listen, I should tell listeners he's battling cancer. He needs your prayers. He looks really <laughs> rough. He's got a tracheotomy in right now, and he's yeah. tougher than a box of nails. So we love you. Go ahead, brother. Well, it's not a trach. I just got an extra hole. They seem to think I need some more holes in me. But let me tell you. This is not coming from us, Alex. Now it's coming from other sources. But what is incredible, just as you had predicted, and I've said, hey, guys, it's out there, but isn't it amazing you still don't hear it? You know, used to, they'd say, well, that's nothing. That's Alex Jones or Larry Nichols or some of these nutbag, sensationalist, conspiracy nuts. But now, all of a sudden, it comes out by Reuters, other other people, creditable people in the industries. And guess what? Now you just don't hear about it. Alex, do you realize they could be stealing the world right now? All that's on the news is this campaign. That's it. 24 hour news is 24 hours this campaign. And what is incredible, you got, bless his heart, a gorilla that was killed. That takes precedence over the information that's coming about about the destruction of our financial system. That's right. System. The top story is the gorilla for two days. And meanwhile, the entire Internet freedom and free speech is being demolished. Europe has fallen. E even mainline news you know, calls it martial law. And, and, and then they're, they're arresting people. They're arresting presidential right. candidates. I mean, just all hell's breaking loose. And, and all we're looking at is campaign 2016. That's right. And, uh, folks, I'm going to tell you, you're starting to see some of the things that I said, Alex, a couple, three weeks ago, right here. You're starting to see them start to manifest. You're starting to see them unfold. You know, the major financial players in the world, they've even got a name for it now. It's called not bailing out. They call it bailing in. And you know what their bailing in plan is? And I'm talking about the heads of these big five major banks. You know what their plan to bail in means? Absolutely. They're, They're going to bankrupt set. everything, claim you got to save the system, give themselves unlimited trillions, and then set there themselves up with even more governmental power. Giving themselves the money. They're going to take your money and claim their, they have to repatriate your money to help pay the bills. But they're planning to keep it for themselves. They're going to walk away from this thing so they think, and they're going to have all this money. Now, the joke of jokes is, if they'll look back in history, usually when the dictators take power, they've got all these cohorts that go with them. But you know what, Alex? When, uh, when everything's said and done, those cohorts are the first ones to go because dictators don't like people around them. They don't like people around them that... Uh, have made it. And, and they, they know where the bodies well. are buried and they can That's use right. things against them in the future. In every t tyranny that's taken over in planetary history, always the Quislings, the Minions, the establishment wannabes, the people that thought they were safe, didn't realize there was a dossier for a Knight of the Long Knives to take them out the minute the real hammer drops. Absolutely. And folks, that's coming here. The only thing that I would say before we go break, Alex, is I skipped I'm, it. It's too important. We're not going to even okay. have a show soon if this continues. Everybody knows All it. Right. Hammer's coming. Okay. Look, guys, listen to me. I, I want to make, I want to say a message if I may, Alex. Hillary, come here, girl. Look in my eyes, girl. Let me tell you what's going to happen, Hillary, me and you. And you either going to have to go through me, you're going to have to go over me. But you're not going to be able to go around me. This is going to be a match of this is your life. And everything I know, and you know I know, is going to come out. So you better get right with Jesus. Because your chances of being president of the United States that you've wanted since four years old, I assure you this day, ain't going to happen. Now. You know, Alex, with that, I'd say to Hillary, you know, you better start looking. If she would change today, 
if she would change today and start thinking about the people of this country. That would make a difference. But you see, she won't. She won't. Obama. Obama has successfully stripped us of our three branches of government. But do you know where that came from? That came from Bill Clinton. The first day Bill Clinton took office, ladies and gentlemen, please remember this. He fired 111 federal prosecutors the first day in office. Now, you know who appointed the ones to replace them? Hillary. Why? Because you see, they've got it set up. Obama does it. They got it set up to where, let's say you've got Hillary raping some woman downtown Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, if they control the federal prosecutors, who are you going to go to to get them prosecuted? Then they came in and they have taken control of the Justice Department. They have now fixed it thanks to Bill Clinton and, yes, George W. Bush and Barack Hussein Muslim Obama. They have fixed it to where there are, there is no longer three distinct co-equal branches of government, Alex. And that's why everything they've got set up is to try to send in the military. If, if coalitions of states say no during martial law to go along with, say, arresting all the conservatives or the patriots, they're going to try to send in special ops to take over the state houses. But the special ops know they're being trained for this. They know it's a setup. The problem is there'll be big false flags blamed on patriots, kids killed, uh -huh. school shot up, you name it, to try to sell the idea. But I don't think that's going to work. I think the New World Order has bitten off more than they can chew studying the waterfront. But unfortunately, the battlefront, the battlescape, unfortunately, though, Larry, correct me if you think I'm wrong, it doesn't matter. They're still going ahead. So this is like a juggernaut about to run into a, another juggernaut. This is going to be explosive. It is. And uh, I'll tell you right now, the whole reason behind normalization of Cuba. Now, I ran into the Cubans in Nicaragua. I ran into them in Afghanistan, of all places. I mean, I, they, wherever the Soviet Union used to be, they would send in Spresnauts, Alex. And the Spresnauts were the special ops like we have today. They would come in with their advisor Spresnauts, and then they'd bring in the they bring in the Cuban black hats. They were the fighters. They were the ones that did the dirty work. Now, 600, at uh, six hours, 250,000 of those black hat Cubans could be in this country. Six hours. Obama knows it. Everybody on the Joint Chief Staff know it. Everybody that's working every day on the FEMA provisional government drawing board, the ones that do the games every, excuse me, the games every day, they know it. So, yeah, we've got this big explosion because I do not believe, Alex, I do not, I refuse to believe that Obama, Hillary, Bill, anybody, I don't believe anybody is going to be able to take the American, the United States of America soldier and get him to turn on the population. It's just not going to happen. Well, listen, it's I can cover everything you say other than the Cuba thing. And I know you fought those guys. And I understand that they just used them over there in Syria and all the rest of it. But I see the normalization happening. But that would unify the American people to bring in foreigners. But I look at all the La Reconquista propaganda that's been done in most of the country. If it was pushed from that perspective and as a leftist overthrow, it might actually work in certain sectors of the country. And then that's just a breakup of the nation. But do you think the elite would actually try something like that? You bet they would. Look, Alex, this is what I'm trying to point out to the American people. Do you realize in this election so far, thus far in this presidential election, over half of the people that have voted in this primary have willfully voted for either an announced socialist or a progressive, which is a, another name for a communist in Hillary. Yeah, you know, they're looking right now. This is what's driving this, Alex. The, the elite see that they believe the American people are right. They think it's now. And the thing is, they got to do it now. Because just like we know, this is our last election to where we're going to be relevant. They see this is the time. And if they miss this window in time, 
it may be 10, 20 years before they ever well, I know get this. this nation back. History shows the vulnerability it's in now. That elites do wild things and do bite off more than they can chew. And I see them, uh, the activity at, at 50 times what it used to be. And I see the color revolutions George Soros pulls in Europe and the Middle East. And I, and I see him running things. And it looks like you know, he's got... Wide body jets ready to get out of here in five minutes' notice. Uh -huh. uh, so, so you, you may be right. Regardless, they're trying to push <laughs> racial division, cultural infighting. Larry Nichols, they're accelerating that. The Justice Department's accelerating that. How does that feed into this? Well, what's happening right now? If you look, they've got the police in this nation to where every time they stick their head up and do their job. They are prosecuted. They're attacked viciously by the black community, Black Lives Matter. And so what they're being forced into doing is they're being forced into retreat. Look at Chicago. How many people this weekend were murdered in Chicago? <clears throat> I don't know, 40, 60, whatever. They're going to get major cities, Chicago, Dallas, Atlanta, et cetera. They're going to get major cities in a situation to where the people, Alex, the people, they're going to go to the federal government and say, dear God, the police can't handle it. Send in the government and protect us. That's what they're playing for, Alex. They're not playing. So that's where everybody gets it, I think, a little wrong. They think they're going to come in as jackbooted thugs, march down our street, and, and force us into submission. No, it's done in the first wave, so the military <laughs> thinks they're doing a good job, too, because they're good people. That's the first wave. Then the organizers, the socialists, the national security force that Obama talked about that should be just as big and strong as our military, it's in the next phase. So it's an incremental That's takeover. Right. By the way, Chicago yeah. had the highest crime rate in the world last year. It's doubled that this year and is set to quintuple again so clearly and then i see articles every day white racist police officers arrested people okay or or punch somebody okay prosecute them but is 20 black people killed in a single day or in a single weekend is by black people is that important or is it the racist cop i mean th that they then project onto all the police to collapse the police and collapse the city. That's right. And then they break the backs and they break the hearts of our police. And the police withdraw. You know, hey, if you were a policeman and you're not going to be supported by the community to which you serve and protect, if every time you do what is your job, which is highly dangerous and puts you in very touchy situations, when you have to respond, that same community that you're trying to protect attacks you, not the people that you were protecting them from. The police are going to back up, and that's all Obama and these elitists need. I know. As you say, uh, you're right. I mean, you, you've, been involved, you've been involved in the overthrow of countries. You've been involved in the stopping them. And I know you know what you're talking about. I see it happening. I just cannot believe they're actually trying a leftist communist playbook destabilization overthrow but it appears ladies and gentlemen this is not a dry run this is not a beta test yeah, it, it appears they're really looking to go We're on with the this march. stay with the us empire. you know I'm going to say this because I want people to support him during the breaks uh, Larry has to go to the bathroom uh, he's really focusing and even be able to be on air with us right now he's battling lung cancer they don't want me to tell people that but it's known the government knows that he knows they can slip in and take him out and, uh, you know, use the fact that he's so sick as the cover there in the home of Arkansas. But his information on Hillary and Bill is out there to a lot of different places. It's going to start rolling out, as you've been seeing, through Trump and, and obviously um, the National Enquirer. And, I mean, this isn't a guy over here saying he's talking to the Trump people. I don't, we probably won't even get into this. Uh, or when I have Colonel Smith Mech on, who's exposing what base is shipping arms on a train to Mexico to be sent to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. You understand, when they come on this show, they get physically attacked, you know, uh, a few days after, or or um, they get death-threatened, or the Justice Department calls up and threatens Plumley. We're not up here saying, hey, we're tough guys. We're up here saying, this country's being taken down in front of everybody. The public's in a trance. And if we expose their plans to use an economic collapse and race war to bring in martial law, as they've pretty much already done in Europe, they may have to back off. 
And then people say, oh, you're a fear monger. It didn't happen. Oh, like the NSA spying or the Internet ID. It's all going to happen if we don't stop them. You understand? It isn't like I'm sitting here going, boy, I hope all this happens so I'll be a superstar. Oh, wonderful. We ever get out front of the New World Order, they'll say, boy, that Alex Jones was like Paul Revere with Matt Drudge and, you know, people like Larry Nichols. Boy, isn't that great? How's that help Larry Nichols' kids or my kids or his grandkids? This is a full fight, people. He's up here in Hillary's face. She can't stand him. It's come out in lawsuits before and, and, and federal cases where the feds have got our emails and are watching what we're doing and stuff. I mean, believe me, this is not games. This isn't people acting like they're on the cutting edge. This isn't people acting like they're giving you the big breaking news. This is people risking everything for this republic. We're going to go back to Larry here in just a moment. It's just I see a guy over here fighting for his life and fighting for his country's life and, and, and gutting up to be on air, you know, with his surgery and all the rest of it. And I just think about the average men that are strong, that are smart, that are tough, that, that if their neighbor got in their face and slapped their wife, you know, this, you know, these men would stand up. But when the globalists conquer your country and rub your face in it and just dominate and, and overthrow our nation and attack God and the family and everything else and unborn babies, the average man just gets a glazed look in his eye. And I want to ask Larry Nichols, why is that? Maybe it's just they never thought of themselves as fighting tyranny or they don't respect themselves or it's like government's another world. It runs things. No, it doesn't. We're the people. And it is this pliant attitude where you bend over to the New World Order. Listen, the New World Order doesn't just want to have its way with you. It wants to slit your freaking throat, people. It's coming to break you. It's got a destabilization program it's running that we've seen in other countries. We know where point A to Z goes. And let me tell you, we're already down to like X. And in the last few letters, there'll be more change than you saw in all the other progression. You'll just be, boom, and you're in a nightmare situation. Boom, there's no money in the bank. Boom, there's no food. Boom, there's black uniforms. Boom, the social justice warriors by the hordes pour out everywhere and start burning targeted select areas. And they call the police in and they say, we've made a deal with some of these other groups and the feds. You go out and get these political subversives that are stirring up the left and you won't be fired. If the police go out and arrest the patriots at that point, you'll be the next ones. Just know that. They are quarterbacking us. We got their playbook. I don't know which play they're going to play next, but I, I got a good idea off watching this coach, watching this team. We're going to our, our guest here in a moment, just briefly, to put up on the screen for TV viewers and radio listeners. He is battling for his life. He's lost everything in the last 20-plus years, battling the Clintons for being a very successful businessman. He needs help for medical care. He didn't even ask for this, but I insist on doing it. Nichols Live at AOL.com for a PayPal donation. He's tried to write books and do other stuff, and it always turns into fiasco and, you know, how that works. People run, you know, he never gets the money or whatever. Point is, he needs your support. Nichols Live at AOL.com. Nichols Live at AOL.com. Or Larry Nichols, 58 Kingsington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. That's 58 Kingsington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. Nichols Live at AOL.com. With PayPal now, before I go any further... I skipped a break this hour. I skipped one last. I got to stop doing it. Uh, it's, it's like a habit you can't break. I don't even plug. When I do plug, you need to buy the products. We need your support. We're all in this together. Get the Hillary for President shirts. Get the Molon Labe shirts. We've got dozens and dozens of great shirts. Uh, get the high-quality storable food. Uh, get the colloidal silver natural disinfectant antibiotic. Uh, that when all else fails, uh, it's a silver bullet, folks. And then we've also got the new air filter system that by the folks that make the Alexa Pure water filters that are game changers, the Alexa Pure Breeze. I've bought units that are $900 to $1,000 years ago. And the whole industry prices have gone down some. Now, something comparable that's pretty good is about 500 bucks. This is normally 220 something. It's 180 what is it, $184, $86, and put it back on screen. I'm going from memory. Uh, it's 25% off. Technically, it's 26% off, 26.02 off on the Alexa Pure Breeze groundbreaking Ion Cluster technology, but that's just part of the filters it has. It's got other filters. It's got no reviews yet. It's, it's out of the gates. It's been tested and developed for years. It's almost completely silent. It is a game changer. I'm not going to sit here and beat a dead horse. Uh, you're crazy if you don't go get yourself one of these. If you don't filter your water, they got glyphosate and everything in the water, the fluoride. Alexa Pure Pro water filtration, Alexa Pure Breeze, 
air filtration systems. We also have the Pro Pure water systems that are excellent, Life Straw and others. But InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com for the nutraceuticals or call toll free 888 two five three three one three nine and if you're feeding your kids gmo food or and i'm not on you about this i know you, you're in a habit you wonder why your kids seem dull stop feeding them gmo stop feeding them red dye number five stop giving them aspartame drinks none of us are perfect it's a long journey back from hell isn't it but we can get there i mean i never did that bad stuff but the point is you're, you're giving them tap water you're insane most well water you name it it's it's horrible Hundreds of bad chemicals. You need to filter your water. You need to buy this product that supports the First Amendment. And then it helps you. It's a win-win. We They have an Alexa Pure uh, whole family of systems. And they have the Pro Pure systems. They're all available at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. We have a four-stage Pro Pure shower filter that's the best out there, and it's such an affordable price. There are competitors that have one filter of charcoal and cost 70 bucks. This is 60 something bucks. It's got four filters, and here's the great part it's fast flow. So it doesn't screw up your shower. This is the way to do it. If you got a baby, fill the bathtub up with the shower head. You know, they're doing this on purpose, not to mention all the runoff. Don't let them hit you with chemical weapons. Purify your air. Take care of your body, get exercise, get sunshine, and most importantly, pray to God and get your soul right because pointing that at God is the most important thing. When, when, when Larry Nichols says, get right with Jesus, he means it, folks. I've gotten so much closer to God because I've studied this and I've seen evil and I know how real it is. And I'm telling you, folks, if you're not right with God and you don't have God on your side and you're not asking God for protection and discernment, and you're not asking God to, to help you meet other people who are looking for other good folks as well, you're in for a lot of trouble because I've never got up on air and talked about stuff being this scary. I'm always hoping we can push it back and change it and derail it. Or That's why I've gotten so much more hardcore and so much more risky with what I do. I mean, we've pulled out all the stops here going up against the enemy, just doing stuff that I know when I do it is sticking my head in a lion's mouth. So, and I'm not talking about a train one at the, at the at the circus. So I'm doing what I got to do because if I don't, I die inside. But I just want you to understand something. The fear you ought to have is not standing up to these people. We got to recognize them as evil and make a clean break with them and just absolutely get in their face politically at every level and say, you are anathema, you are evil, you stage things and blame it on us, you hate us, you wanna bankrupt us, you wanna mount our heads on your walls figuratively and for real, and we are setting our will, our guts, our spirit, everything, and uh, against it and, and saying, God, we're all in, and God then like wind in the sails will come in. I'm telling you, that's how this works. And it doesn't mean you won't be persecuted or go through some trouble. But the enemy hates us because they don't even like us being around, these psychopaths and sociopaths. They're scared of us, and they want to break our will. And we have got to take action. Now, Larry, I've been ranting. I'm going to give you the floor now. I apologize. I'm not even going to take calls. I'm going to give you more time. It's just this is such an epic time when just more stuff's happening in a week now than used to happen in a year. And it's accelerating, and I just now... I mean, I have a beyond a horrified feeling in my chest. It's just, I'm like, where's the person to fight? I'm like, ready. I, I just, I know how sick these people are. And every fiber of me is like desperately trying to find the lever, the switch to throw to turn the tide. And, and we're turning the tide at many levels is why they're accelerating. So, so I, I want to get into Trump, what you're working on and, and play some clips here. Uh, Larry, go ahead. Well, what you're talking about, Alex, is Einstein did it. He did it. take a string with a ball on the end of it, say 10 foot long, spin that ball around. Now, I want you to take that same ball, cut that string in half, spin it around, and the ball goes faster. Now, you cut that string in half, and it's zipping. And the closer you get to your hand, that ball's moving fast, fast, fast. Now, you know, he called the point at which the energy is initiated to spin that ball. He called it the event. And as the ball gets closer, 
to the event. In other words, as, as time gets closer to the event, things speed up exponentially. We're seeing that right now, Alex. We're seeing it. That's why today things seem to be developing faster than we can even imagine. Then there's another trick they have, and they use this one almost every day. This is where Hillary is so significant. Most people, Alex, have in their mind the level to which they will do something sinister and evil. In other words, you, Alex, in your mind, if you sat down and said, okay, what is the worst thing I could do? I mean, being mean, evil, sinister, how far would I go? And you've got a limit. The Clintons use that. I used to use it on people. People have innately in them a limit to how far they will go to be evil and to get what they want. The Clintons have no limit. And so we're sitting here, you and I, Alex, we're trying to convince people you can't believe what these people will do because people don't believe anybody would do it. That's what I'm saying. Most people have got to get aggressive, focused, yes. and confident and, and really start thinking about your limits because here's the deal. They're going to push us, folks, if we don't start pushing back all the way to the limit where things get really nasty. And that's what I'm saying, Larry. I've looked at the tea leaves here, all the different evidences. I think they've miscalculated, and, I, and when they push us to the limit, I think they're going to cause a chain of events that is going to bring them down. Uh, uh, I mean, what's your view? I know you're right, Alex. I know you're right. What we have to get your listeners, our people over, is everybody said, you know, you were saying a minute ago, what about the average male? You know, when... Why won't he engage? What What is it about him? If somebody slaps his wife around, of course he'll engage. But when it comes to this, to the nation, to the country, to the future, uh, you know, there's a big sense out there of what can I do? One man. One man. How can I change things? Well, folks, we're going to snap out of that. And we either snap out of that fast or it's over for us. Now, it does not. Alex, take every man, woman, and child in America to wake up and to resist these people. The truth is, Alex, it takes less people to resist them than you think. It's just we've got to have people that are willing to engage and get in the you said fight. said willing, and, and, and willing is a breakdown of will. That's right. And, and when I say engage in the fight, Alex, everybody doesn't have to do like you. They don't have to start a company, risk their life, get on the air, and invest everything they have every day, risk every dime they have to be able to get the word out and to tell the truth. They don't have to do that. Everybody has a place. Everybody has a role. You know, everybody's not a car mechanic. Everybody's not a brain surgeon. We don't need everybody to be monolithic. What we need is everybody bring to the party that which you do. That's what our founding fathers did. They said butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, preachers, let's all come and let's get in this thing. And many did. But remember, folks, please remember this. The Revolutionary War was not fought by every person that was in this country. Three percent. Less than four percent, right? Less than four percent of the people in this country at that time actually participated, and we won. We can win today if we can get four percent of our population to engage. Now, here's where it gets kinky. We need everybody to unify under one, let's say umbrella, I guess that's what you call an umbrella. Yeah, but where is that George Washington? And yeah, that's the problem. And they're worried about yeah. states coalescing and forming that. That's why the entire Pentagon plan is to take out a states movement when they bring us under open globalism. But the public has to be prepared in the information warfare realm in the battle space to recognize that global attempt to destroy the states is illegitimate. And then just with political will, none of us comply. Doesn't matter how many troops they put in the streets. Plus, the most awake group is the special forces community. I mean, I, I'm sure you, you know that. I know, but let me tell you, you asked the question, where is the George Washington? 
I never believed Bill Clinton on much he ever said, but there was one thing I heard him say one time when he was president that was actually true. You know, great moments and events create great men. It might be Donald Trump, Alex. I'll tell you something else. It might be you. It might be. I don't know. We won't know until we engage. One of the things no, you're right. that resistance I will... is victory. This is so key what you're saying. This is the absolute key to everything. We don't know till we engage. We engage, right. we win. We have the moral high ground in history. We lay down, they win. We cannot lose if we engage. It doesn't mean we're we all going to make it either, folks. That's right. You know what happened when the Allied forces crossed the Rhine into the Germany? Hey, it got tough. You know why? Because the Germans at that point were fighting for their homeland. Folks, we're fighting for our homeland. Don't be convinced any other way. We are fighting for our country. Engage. Engage. And everything will show itself when we do. That's right. We have to smoke the enemy out by every person everywhere engaging. We'll talk about some ways to engage when we come back. But the key is just have the will to do it and the doors will open. Just ask God to. I haven't gotten any of the Donald Trump clips and boy, they're powerful. Obama stumbling around, bumbling around, trying to tag him back. Uh, kids being brainwashed, white kids, black kids, Hispanic kids, just kids to say horrible things about Trump, that he's racist. He said he hates Jews. I'm Jewish. I mean, he didn't say he hates Jews or black people or Hispanics or anybody. But it, uh, again, it just shows... And these parents are in the background of these clips. They're up on Infowars.com going... Going good. They sound like snakes. I just thank God I had parents that were involved and informed and, 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 and studied history. And my mom's got a degree in history. And it's true. People that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. Uh, Larry Nichols was getting into the fact that they're getting us to a point of our backs being against the wall. They've made it racial. And I love the fact that despite the fact they said the Tea Party was racist, that some Hispanics and black folks would come to it. But now I'm seeing a lot of these rallies where half the folks are Hispanic. It's incredible. And huge numbers of black folks who really see through it. And I mean, are there going to be some racist people at Trump rallies? Absolutely. But I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm a white guy. Believe me, most white people I know are the opposite of racist. They're self-loathing. Okay. I mean, most people don't like themselves in this modern society. You give them another reason, they're going to be into it. There's a lot of self-hating going on, no matter what color you are. We're just people. And... He has such a unifying message, but of sovereignty. We need that. They're killing that. Hey, we got open borders. Hey, they're bringing in radicals. Hey, sure, he's giving people red meat because that's the first thing people get. Hey, my life's falling apart, but I got to pay for all this. So I was talking to Larry Nichols. I want to keep him in the next hour a little bit if he can do it. He's probably got to go about solutions. How do people get involved at first? How do people take action at first? What do they do? Well, there's a thousand ways to do it. The biggest way in the information war is the internet to take our articles, our videos, our material, stories, this Larry Nichols video that's live right now, and send it to people. That's number one. But number two, run for office locally. No, number three, start a shooting club, whatever. It's all little things in the culture that will break the globalist back. Call and talk radio. Do your own YouTube channel. I want to keep you a little bit if you've got to go, at least on the Trump stuff and what's about to roll out. And the, I, I don't know how much that was inside baseball or outside baseball because you were telling Nico and he related, but a lot of exciting stuff there. Uh, and, of course, you want to communicate directly to the Trump folks you were saying through this platform, not with them for reasons that are obvious. But uh, – Spend a few minutes with us here on solutions. How does somebody who's never really been involved, how do they get involved? All right. First off, Alex, I'm glad you asked me. And uh, guys, there's a couple of things I want to make very, very clear. You know, Alex, bless his heart, ask you to help me. I need it. I'm not going to say I don't. I'm not going to say it. what on earth. I, I'm not saying I don't, but... I cannot. My thing is, do you hear that, Alex? No, no, your computer's through? going crazy. It's okay, but it's not coming yeah. across here. Well, anyway, what I want you to know is you don't have to do, you don't have to send me money, but here's what you better do. You had better get on Alex's email list. You've got to. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know where that's coming from. You better get on Alex's email list. Because Absolutely, because with all the internet censorship intensifying, with all the internet, that's how we were able to communicate with folks. And yes, it's for right. marketing to fund ourselves as well, but it is more important than ever. I've never yeah. really even used it for marketing until now to to reach people with this censorship increasing. Now, now, Larry, do you have another show coming up? Do you have to go? 
Well, I do, but I'll, I'll look. This is too important. I can't stop at this point. Let's okay, well, I got to go to break in no. one minute. I want to come okay. back and give you the floor for just five more on the Trump situation. There's been new Trump developments. Absolutely. Absolutely. But one thing quickly. Get on the email list. And then, folks, I'm telling you, every one of you, this comes from me. I get nothing out of it. It don't mean nothing to me. It means a lot to me to protect you because you're the Army. You have got to stock up for a month or two or three or six. Have food stuff. Be prepared. Be prepared if they shut down the system. Folks, That's how they want to control us. That's why they want us so dependent. Larry Nichols is with us till 15 minutes into this hour. Then he's got another interview he's doing. This guy is battling cancer. If you're radio listener, you can't see him there with the bandages on his throat from surgery. And they've got it opened up so they can put a trach in when they need to. And he's on oxygen. And the guy's tough. And, uh, you know, in the fictional world of Breaking Bad, the guy cooks methamphetamine to try to fund, uh, you know, his cancer treatment with Larry Nichols. He just puts up a PayPal for folks to support him. We're going to put that up before he leaves us again. Uh, and then Joe Begg's going to join us from the Social Justice Warriors on the road. I'm going to open the phones up. Uh, and we also have David Knight, Han Chilling, the fourth hour. Larry, I want to hit the Trump stuff when we come back in the next segment because this one's short. But finishing up with solutions, if people just spread the word about this broadcast or other broadcasts that are telling the truth, uh, if people uh, educate Congress, I mean, there are a lot of good people. We have to normalize reality. We know reality's scary. We know it's sensational. We know it's scary to have to talk about it, but it is happening. And so we need to force this out in the open. But then what do we do after that point when they've got most of the key positions filled with other criminals? And we know the government's criminal. 6% of the public trusts the media in an AP poll, scientific. What happens at that point where most of the military is awake, a lot of the FBI is awake, they're not all bad people. Secret Service, I know, is awake. But the people on top are these horrible clowns like Hillary. What do we do about this stalemate or impasse? All right. First thing you got to do, Alex, is what you did and I, what you and I did back when Bill Clinton. We have to set up an overall umbrella. All right. Now, a lot of people are awake. But the problem we have, Alex, is a lot of people have their pet peeve issues. Some people are against this. Some people are against this. We've got to unify under the one thing, save this country. Forget all of the, the, the smaller issues. Get unified under one issue, the big picture. we got to save the country. Now, once we do that, once we come together, we've got to identify ourselves, Alex. That's the problem. We must identify ourselves. That's why I beg people to get on your email list. We've got to know how many people and who we've got in our army. Now, with that, then we can attack, and I mean attack, the, the, the people that are in Washington, the good ones. Yes, we've got to give them the faith that there are enough people behind us to back them, that they're not out there on the limb by themselves. And then we've got to be able to cut through the media and attack the Clintons. And how do you do that? That's where Donald Trump comes in. Donald Trump is our great hope. You see, Trump, if he will keep doing what he's doing, he gives us access, Alex, to the people going around the media. You know, he talks straight to the people. The media tries to block him at every turn. He don't care. He just tweets or twigs or whatever he does. He gets the word out. That's where we gather gather. Yes. And that's what he's been able to do is a focal point. And the fact that he's going with your research, Drudge's <laughs> research, our research, right. and really put in the Clinton's face uh, is, is absolutely terrifying them. Imagine this. What happened, Alex, if, if uh, let's just imagine uh, Trump getting up in a speech and he says, you know, they have said that the whole Vince Foster thing is solved. There's nothing to it. It's all put to bed. What if in that speech he was given, he held up the Secret Service memo and he read it. And he said, now, does this sound like it was solved? Him doing that would set the media on fire. The whole world would know. The whole thing will come back out again. And it, it, just like Absolutely. the Saudi 28 pages, that's all out now or starting to come out because of that. Absolutely. So there are moves. We have to remember, Alex, in any battle, any military person you know will tell you there is strategic and tactical. 
We must understand strategically what our goal is. Our goal, folks, is nothing but save our country. And then tactically, how do we do it? Tactically, it's how we do it. Number one, we stop Hillary. Number two, we move to the only true thing that saves this nation, and that is moving back to... I'm kind of torn with some of those new liners that we've done because it sounds like we're at now in Las Vegas, Nevada, of a big fight night. But the other side of it is, no, we're this is an epic battle. We need to have like horns going off and sirens and air raid sirens. Uh, I mean, it, it is crazy that Infowars is one of the most prominent organizations still promoting Americana, basic free market, due process, live in a free country. And that we're just overrun with globalist propaganda and dumbing down. It is it is an amazing time to be alive. Larry Nichols leaves us here in a few minutes. Joe Biggs is coming on. I will get to all these Trump clips. I was trying to get a bunch of them this morning. They had them ready for showtime. And then I'm, I'm like, hurry up and get me that. And then I don't play it for two hours. So they need to slap me around sometimes. But uh, it's epic what's going on. And, it, and remember, America isn't the whole planet. Every form of insanity is intensifying in other areas because the globalists admittedly have been creating economic conditions that exacerbate that on record. So I want Larry Nichols here to impart to the audience, again, top Clinton insider, formerly uh, basically handling the, the Clintons to a great extent when he was governor. And then it just got so corrupt, he had to start fighting back. He was the main guy in the Clinton Chronicles and... Uh, big news articles about it. One of the top people that was instrumental uh, in getting information out through Drudge and David Shippers and others uh, that finally got the impeachment of Clinton going. And even if it didn't finally convict him in the Senate, it punished him publicly and at least created the idea that you're not completely above the law. We're now in a climate, I'd say three, four times worse, where just the lawlessness, not just the email gate or the you know, Benghazi or Fast and Furious or all this, it's just incredible that that we've reached this point. So in the last few minutes we have with Larry Nichols, you talked to Nico before the show today. I, I, I'd like to talk to you after the show, uh, if we can, about how much of the Nichols-Trump information we're allowed to talk about on air or where this is all going. I mean, I know you've wanted to reach out to Trump. You've said that on the videos. Uh, and I know that those folks have reached out to you. I don't know how far you want to go on that. Uh, but obviously you were saying that you just want to impart the basic knowledge here publicly. And then, you know, hopefully uh, Trump will then go the next step on Vince Foster, the next step on the rape. So uh, try to reveal to the audience here who's on pins and needles about this, uh, how much you can tell us, Larry Nichols. Well, here's what I intend to do. And this will be up to Mr. Trump and what he does. Number one, if Donald Trump called me today, Alex, I would say to him, I would say, Mr. Trump, I support you, but I will not be an official part of your campaign in any way. Because if we got caught being together, they would roast you horribly. Because remember, they call me every kind of thing there is. They call him everything there is. And they would use both of us to discredit it. So therefore, what I would say to Mr. Trump is, I will go about every other week on Alex Jones. Sure will. Come right here if you would allow me. And I will release a new scandal, a new piece of the puzzle. Now, once I do that, it would be very wise for Mr. Trump to pick it up like he did the Vince Foster thing, pick it up and talk about it. You see, if he will talk about it, what we break here, it will draw people at least here to hear more of the story. Sure. Two that months ago, you, you said Trump needs to go with Vince Foster. He did. Uh, so it's very exciting. Well, and remember the strategy for Vince Foster, Alex, as you and I have talked about since day one. We're not going to get Hillary indicted over Vince Foster. We're not. But I tell you what we're going to do. I tell you what I'm going to do. And I hope you are in, and I know you are. We're going to make piece by piece by piece the true story about Vince Foster, the greatest who done it in American history. People will get involved if they're entertained, Alex. If we try to tell them stuff and cram it down their throat in political terms and historical terms and all of that, they're not going to listen. But I tell you what, if we can entertain them, 
they'll buy into it. They'll learn. And you have to do it through repetition. So that's what I would say. I would say, Mr. Trump, just do me a favor. When I break something with Alex Jones, one thing that Alex makes me do anything I break, I have to be able to prove in a court of law, which I will be able to do. So therefore, he will be safe with the subject matter and just let the people know it's out there. Now, if he does that, more people, Alex, outside of the outside of the moral Christian conservative community will come here. They'll come here to here. And of course, when they come here, Alex, you know, I'm a one trick pony. I'm Clinton. That's what I do. That's who I am. I will stop Hillary. I've made that pledge to the American people. And you just heard I made it to her. I'm Clinton. But there's an awful lot of other stuff that needs to be put out to people. So if we can draw them here using this campaign, they're not going to get it in the media. But they can get it here. They're going to learn. Sure. And, and, and the tactic the media uses that I talked a lot about in the first hour is they tell us what winners should do. They tell us what losing right. strategies are. And, and right. really, the strategies they give us are losing. They call them winning. So they say, oh, Trump's discredited. He talks about rape. Trump's discredited. He talks about murders from the 90s. And the media is so scared. And then he goes up two, three points in every major poll. He needs to go even further. And he's starting to do that. And he's decided, um, from what I've been seeing, to really take the gloves off. Roger Stone, if you can get through all the bad weather, he's going to be here today in studio with us tomorrow. And we're going to do some special reports over the weekend. Uh, but I tell you, they're scared of Donald Trump. And it's because they've had a dossier on him forever. They got his phones tapped. He's not perfect. They just know he's pro-America. He's not a crook. He's not right. a child molester like most of them. And so they hate his guts. He's not. He's never been part of their club. He's been his own guy. He, and, I mean, to a point of, you know, he runs his own show completely. And so they just can't stand it because he's not a combine guy. He's not a well, syndicate guy. Then the thing that I've got to count on you to do, Alex, you. You're going to have to help me convince Donald Trump that the true solution to solving America's woes it's states right. He needs to come out strip and talk about states' rights. Damn, you bet. Strip that damn Washington. That's what made America great was the checks power. and balances. Exactly. States' rights so, made America great. You do that. If Trump will make a part of his platform, I'm talking about his legitimate platform, states' rights. Don't worry about the, what they'll try to do to him on foreign affairs. Guys, we got no business in foreign affairs until we clean up this country. We can't solve our problems. How hey, his foreign affairs make a lot of sense. Don't start a war with Russia. Don't back yeah, ISIS right. and Al Qaeda. Yeah, just like his foreign affairs sounds good to me. Just don't get involved. So, Alex, you know, we've got work to do. i tell you another thing. It's probably about time. And I mean this. If you would do it, you're welcome to do it. Come in here. I think it's about time we need to do another one of those videos that you do. Put up a video. Let's talk Absolutely. about like well, you say, the solution. Absolutely. In closing, uh, Larry, I know you don't ask for this, but it's true you're battling cancer. We want to keep you around as long as possible, regardless if we weren't in this death battle. you got a lot of courage. Uh, again, uh, I am uh, very, very, very excited to try to take on the Clintons head to head. That's what I was born to stand up against these people just like you were. And, uh, and so I feel honored uh, before God and country to not be a coward and, and to stand with men like yourself and, and Donald Trump and Matt Drudge and so many others. And of course, don't forget uh, Judicial Watch, and, and don't ever forget uh, the folks uh, who are doing it longer than anybody except you, and, and that'd be the uh, uh, Joseph Farah over at World Net Daily. Uh, they even predate Drudge and, and, and myself. Uh, and so we all need to you know fight together, and, and the audience who all those years, little old ladies handing out copies of the Clinton Chronicles and myself putting it on Access TV in 1995, you know, that's the type of stuff we're talking about here. Larry Nichols, we're going to put on screen your PayPal Nichols live at AOL.com to help him uh, battle cancer. Now, I know you don't want to talk about this. You told me some stuff privately, and I know you've, you know, been pretty close here a few times. Uh, but uh, how, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll make it until just folks, don't worry. I'll be here to stop Hillary. I'll be here to stop Hillary. So are you I almost call. feeding on this fight? Is it giving you strength to hang on? That, that's it. You know, let me tell you, the one thing that you have to have, Alex, is I've learned the will to live. And that's in combat. And anywhere I've seen guys shot up, you'd say they're going to die and they live. I've seen guys that look like, well, that wound didn't even hurt them and they die. And what happens usually is their will to live. I've got a great 
purpose. It's a purpose bigger than myself, and that's trying to save this country its selfish purpose for my grandbabies. Now, listen, another thing, Alex, that you said a while back is exactly true. Discernment. Folks, you've got to start being responsible, and you've got to learn to discern the truth. A true patriot seeks out the truth and then tells it, then passes it on. Be careful. Be careful just everything that pops up on that damn internet. They feed out disinfo to clog you everything bet. so that when we're saying something true, or they misrepresent what I say. I mean, uh, exactly. they're, they're really Every deceptive. Day. And you got to watch out with the Clintons because they're masters at putting people out there that look like they're on your side, and they'll feed a tidbit or two of truth, and then people exactly. Go, well, I mean, look, look, it's just like person's right. It's just like in warfare, radar jamming. They just exactly. jam things with smoke and, and and watch infighting. Anybody that ever infights and attacks other host for no reason is an operative. Glenn Beck always did that, so I took the high road and didn't until he's now basically falling. Uh, and I don't take any pleasure in that. It's very sad. Right. Because I'm not in competition with any of these guys. I'm trying to save this country. I mean, let me, let me, let me, Alex, let me tell you about Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck had his opportunity, he, and I give him credit for that 912. He helped establish the Tea Party to a great extent. But Glenn Beck made one mistake. He did not give people something to do. He told the problems. He told the problems. He did the history of the problems. Great. He got them. He got the he got the horses to the trough, but he would not show them how to drink. That's right, brother Larry. Got to. We're praying for it. We'll be back with Joe Biggs. Breaking news: a bunch of Trump clips.